When Henry VIII decided to move on from the very Catholic Catherine of Aragon, the Pope refused an annulment to grant, so ecclesiastic power Henry did supplant. Ecclesiastic power Henry did supplant. Supremacy unleashed without apology gave birth to Anglican ecclesiology. Supremacy unleashed without apology gave birth to Anglican ecclesiology. The English Reformation moon would wax and wane. It was Protestant, Catholic, then Protestant again. Till the Act of Uniformity passed Parliament. And Elizabeth brought 60 years of settlement. Elizabeth brought 60 years of settlement. Plus common prayer, you students of philology. Which fostered Anglican ecclesiology. Plus common prayer, you students of philology. Which fostered Anglican ecclesiology. From Elizabeth I down to Charlie II, it was Caroline Divines who were the church's glue. By upholding both what scripture and tradition tell, and then arguing that reason has a place as well. Then arguing that reason has a place as well. Their emphasis on reason in theology defines our Anglican ecclesiology. Their emphasis on reason and theology defines our Anglican ecclesiology. The push and pull between church high and low made the number of offshoot denominations grow. But then over time, this track proved that the future lay in the theologic virtue of a middle way. The theologic virtue of a middle way. This middle way was more than terminology, pluralizing Anglican ecclesiology. This middle way was more than terminology, pluralizing Anglican ecclesiology. The age of revolution left the church as a single world communion in a complex lurch. But independent provinces could recognize that at conferences in Lambeth they would fraternize. At conferences in Lambeth they would fraternize. This decadal synodal primatology sustained our Anglican ecclesiology. This decadal synodal primatology sustained our Anglican ecclesiology. In modern times, there is some remorse that we're barreling towards another church divorce. But opposite opinions struggling to conform for all Anglicans of every age has been the norm. For Anglicans of every age have been the norm. So when you get to be you, and I get to be me. We are living Anglican Ecclesiology. So when you get to be you, and I get to be me, we are living Anglican Ecclesiology. <laughs>